Hey, what's up Team Illusion fans? Like I said in my previous video, I'm going to start doing videos to help you guys become better players, just stuff to help you guys do well in tournaments, and hopefully you can start making day two if you haven't already, if you've been playing for a while. Today we're just going to go over like what you can do, how to stay calm in a tournament, and just keep focused because that's really all you need to do. Uh, drinking a lot of water helps like during the tournament. Uh, it helps prevent exhaustion from kicking in. I mean, if you don't keep yourself hydrated, I mean, it just puts a strain on your body. It doesn't seem like it since you're sitting down most of the time, but at, once you get like really into it, it can take a toll on the body a little bit. So keeping yourself hydrated can help out a lot. The night before uh, a tournament, if you're still d deciding on a deck, you all know what to run. Everything seems the same. Just run what you know. Uh, Mo gave me that advice, so I mean it's the best advice I can give too. Just run what you know. It might not be the best deck in the format, but if you know the deck inside and out, then at least you know you can be prepared for most of your matchups. And you don't have to worry about running something you've never ran before because odds are you will misplay. Uh, I mean, through my own experience, I can say that's just a hun like almost 100% true. So sticking what, with what you know helps out a lot. During a match, it's good to stay calm because once you start getting mad that your opponent either sacked you or you lost game one or some random reason, it's just a downhill spiral. You just, it, you're going to end up losing if you just get mad. Just staying calm throughout the entire match could be the make or break it point. It can prevent you from making a misplay or even if you made a misplay, you don't have to make another one. Just realize just realize it on hand and just continue on and even if you lose the match just take it as whatever and wait for the next couple rounds I mean you're not all, ideally if you're you may not always top but just staying calm throughout the day helps out a lot and even if you don't top it's whatever it's still a game in the end uh, I've seen people that take it way too seriously, so trust me, just, it's basically, uh, people have, like, the wrong idea with, like, if they play somebody who's, like, a big name or some bullshit like that, I mean, they're just a normal person, they may have just a little bit more experience, you know, people just need to get that idea out of the head, I mean, some people really do have the thought process of, like, oh my god, he's a pro, I'm going to lose. It's like, you can't think like that, because if you do think like that, you guess what, you will lose. I mean, just play how you've been playing, and just make sure to keep, uh, keep, uh, keep paying attention during a match. What else? Uh, when you do day two, uh, it's always good, like, the night before, just, just to, like, if you were friends, I, I would assume, just go out, don't get cocky, I've seen it happen to a lot of people, it, once you start getting cocky, the fact that you made it to day two, it's, then you just end up losing straight forward, it's like, oh, I went undefeated, I'm gonna take this. And guess what? I've seen it countless times where that one undefeated guy ends up losing in like top 16 or top 8 because they just he they just completely lost track of the fact that this is you still haven't won it yet. Uh, when you're in day two as well, uh, it's always just always remember to remain calm. I can't stress that enough. I have a bad habit of getting mad when I lose. 
a little bit, but just staying, I mean, if you just stay calm throughout the entire day, you'll be straight. It's basically the best advice I could give for about that. Uh, also, if you do do well in a day two, and you do end up either winning or getting second, third, or whatever, just try not to. If it's like one of your first, try not to start acting cocky about it, because then for future events, it's just gonna make you look at it like an ass. And it's good just to stay calm and be cool about it. I mean. I've seen like the countless I've seen countless times where people have their little cheerleaders behind them and they're and it's like those people are like oh my god I know this kid's gonna lose now it's just because this kid's got an ego beyond imagination and honestly those are the people I love playing against because I love sh taking down those egos it's a personal thing with me but uh that's pretty much it just stay hydrated be calm overall have fun I mean it's just a game in the end a couple quick announcements though for those of you that don't already know Brad's is hosting a 5k in Orlando on June 26th and June 27th for everybody in the states that's pretty good news it's like two thousand dollars for first so I mean that's pretty amazing price support and day two if you uh, is gonna have a dark end tournament for those of you that are interested as well, uh, all in, all the information right now is on Pojo and DGZ. You can uh, check those websites for more information. It should sh uh, list all the prize prize support that we're going to have, uh, where where the events being held. We're going to be having side events. Uh, the tournament will be staffed. Actually, the head judge for this event is uh, Feroz. He's a very good judge. For those of you that, that don't know him, so trust me when I say this, you have a good judge for this tournament. Make sure to come down. Uh, also support Brad Sports Cards and Collectibles. They have a online eBay store. Make sure to go check them out and make sure to also check out me. I also have a store, False Reality Gaming. It's on eBay. Uh, we both have many cards in stock. So for whatever reason, for whatever cards you need, we have them. We both offer best op best offer options. So I mean, if you don't like the price, you can always send an offer. But please make sure the offer is reasonable. Uh, also, shout out to Dale. Thanks a lot for the uh, shout out in your other video. Really appreciate it. Signing off now. Take care. Peace.